I'm Shane at Parks. This park has a gate, has a lock on it, and it's been like this for almost 90 days, and it's an outrage. It's an absolute outrage. And in the, in the uh, place where we're now seeing one of the first announcements that the governor made of reopening was the aqueduct was reopening, the racetrack is reopening. Um, uh, we are seeing the kinds of reopenings that, uh, that make it really obnoxious that our parks are still locked. It's just, this is our park. This doesn't belong to any single individual in the in City Hall or in the Governor's Mansion. This belongs to the people who you see around us, the taxpayers, the people who pay for it. How do I know? Because I took their money, $4 million of their money, and put it into this park over the last five years together with my predecessor, Councilman David Greenfield. It's their money. They paid for it. And we have this beautiful brand new park, 24 months old, can't be used. It's outrageous. Mr. Mayor, look at these precious children. Why are you denying them a right to, put, to play in a park? End the madness. Why have you, Mr. Mayor, called for thousands of people to come to the streets and protest, yet you are denying all these children a place to play? We've found a way to open beaches. I, I've seen images and videos of bars being open, streets are packed, people socializing, and I've actually passed parks in other areas that seem to be open. I don't know what the double standard is here. There is no question that if you go from community to community, the kids are playing together. They're not social distancing. Some of them are wearing masks, some of them are not. But whatever is going on is going on everywhere except that they do not have a playground to play with. Mr. Mayor, we beg you to please open the playgrounds. The parks are open. I think the reason for the closure of sleepaway camps is about politics or about health? No, I think they're just dumb. I don't think it's about politics. I don't think it's about health. I think they're just dumb. I think they make, I think they make stupid rules. It's the government, and often they make stupid rules. And this is a stupid rule. Is it? I think I think that they I think they didn't give it due consideration. It happens to be that the guy who made the decision about uh, closing sleepaway camps, uh, the commissioner of health, is the same guy who literally killed thousands of oh, New Yorkers with the, with the nursing by, with the nursing home. Yes. So I don't know why sleepaway camps. He's decided to be with the Mishir Sadin and on nursing homes. He was happy to kill everybody. Um, not really sure how he came to the conclusions. But the idea that day camps can be open and sleepaway camps have to be closed is so inconsistent with reality uh, that that you know I think we have to speak up about it. Open up, right?